Welcome to my lecture online. I was thinking about that second method and I thought I probably should do the same problem using the other method so you can compare the two to each other because they're both very unique and very useful methods. So here we'll call it method two. How do you integrate the integral of x dx over a plus bx? Well, let's do what we normally would try to do first, probably, is use the substitution method. And we're going to let u equal a plus bx. Therefore, du is equal to b dx, and dx is equal to du divided by b. And let's substitute this and this back in the integral and see what happens. So this becomes equal to the integral of x times dx, which is du divided by b. Let's take the b outside the integral sign. And then in the denominator, instead of a plus bx, we write u. And here's where we normally would say, hmm, how do we, um, how do we, what do we do with the x now? We have that x there that we thought we might be able to get rid of, but we couldn't. Well, the way to do that is to go back to this relationship between u and x and solve this for x. So we can say that u minus a is equal to bx, or x is equal to u minus a divided by b, and substitute this in the integral as well for x. And now what we've done is gotten rid of all the x's and replaced them with some sort of relationship to u. So let's do that. And this becomes 1 over b times the integral of u minus a divided by b. But let's go ahead and take that outside integral sign, make that b squared. We have the du here. And then we have a u in the denominator. And next, you, what you do then is you divide the denominator into the numerator. So this becomes 1 over b squared times u divided by u is 1 minus a divided by u times du. Oop, I think I have too many parentheses. There we go. And I still need my integral sign. OK, now I have it correct. And now we can integrate these separately. So this becomes the following. This is equal to 1 over b squared. And the integral of 1 du is simply u minus an integral of a over u, well, du over u, that would be the natural log of u, and we still have an a, so that's minus a times the natural log of u. And now we'll add the constant of integration, and now all we'll have to do is plug back in what u is equal to, and we get the following, this is 1 over b squared times u, which is a plus bx, minus a times the natural log of a plus bx plus a constant of integration. And notice that's the very same result that we got before. I say, wait a minute, that doesn't look exactly like what we had before. So now let me show you how we can get the exact same answer as we got in the previous video. What we're going to do here is we're going to multiply the 1 over b squared with what we have in there to see what we get. So this is equal to, uh, let's see, we have a over b squared plus x over b minus a over b squared times the natural log of a plus bx plus c, the constant of integration. And then you say, well, that's still not the same what I had before, but if you take a look here, a divided by b squared, that's a constant. We can take that constant and add it to this constant to make this go away. So then we can say that this can now be written as, so this becomes added to the constant, so end up with, this is equal to x over b minus a over b squared times the natural log of a plus bx plus a constant of integration. And now if you look, this is indeed exactly the same as what we had before. Sometimes you'll see when you use different techniques, you get slightly different forms of the same answer. You may think, oh, it's not the same answer, but it actually is. And you can make one look exactly like the other. So remember what we did in the previous video. We simply took the denominator and divided into the numerator. In this technique, we use the substitution technique, u equals a plus bx, and then dx is equal to d over b. When we substitute those into the equation, we still end up with an x. To get rid of that x, 
we then take this equation, solve it for x, and substitute this back in the integral right here, and then we can go ahead, in this case, divide the denominator into the numerator, end up with something that's very easy to integrate. And again, this technique right here is very handy, and you'll see we'll use that more often in the videos to come. And that's how it's done.